Let's keep calm and mother on. Mothering is way too important to do alone and way too serious to be serious all the time. My name is Christy Thomas, and I am here shoulder to shoulder with you, mothering and enjoying life together. This is the podcast where you can focus on being mindful and taking a deep breath with me and learning new things so you can pause and savor the amazing life you already have. Let's get back to the basics. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I'm actually recording this on Thanksgiving night. I just had a really, really enjoyable day with my husband and my three kids. We played the games that we normally do, and I spent a lot of time outside, and it was lovely. This is one of the perks of living so far south. It was amazing. But today, I want to talk to you about let's getting back to the basics. The day after a holiday, I find is always a good day and a natural day to just do a reset. So this is going to be a kind of short episode because I just want you to do three things today for me. One, I want you to drink extra water. Make sure you fill up maybe one or two cups of water and leave them around your house so you can hydrate during the day and treat your body kindly. Number two, I want you to go to the mirror in your bathroom and smile at yourself. I have a sign on the back of our front door that says, be the reason someone else smiles today. And as I was cleaning up the Thanksgiving meal and thinking about what I wanted to share with you here, I think that sometimes we forget that we can be the type of person that makes ourselves smile. So go today to the bathroom and smile at yourself. And if possible, if you're feeling up to it, give yourself a compliment. It could be just about the clothes you're wearing, but I think you can probably dig deeper than that. And the reason I'm asking you to dig a little bit deeper is because I bet you have this experience when looking at your kids and you know that they're doing something that's annoying you, but you can't just jump right into that correction mode, right? You have to connect with your kids before you correct them, right? That's that's what works best in life is connection before correction connection first. But a lot of the times we think about the things that aren't going right in our life or where we feel like we're falling short and we forget that we need to connect to ourselves before we can correct ourselves. So I want you to go into the mirror, look at yourself and give yourself a compliment. Connect to yourself. And then the third thing, the back to the basics thing that always helps me on the day after a holiday is to find some easy spot of clutter and zoom through it and just get rid of the clutter that doesn't fit the space. So for me, that's going to be cleaning out a bookshelf and our pencil drawer, because I have a small obsession with pencils and pens. I have way too many for the number of people in our house. So I'm going to clean those spaces. And then when I use them again, I'll remember that that gift of that clean space was a gift from my past me. And that feels good. So today, go back to the basics. Make sure you hydrate with actual water compliment yourself and connect with yourself. And then number three, simplify. And for me, that's a physical simplification of clearing clutter clutter away. Maybe for you, that will be digital simplification and deleting a whole bunch of emails or unfollowing people or deleting apps. You know, there's a lot of digital clutter that just hangs around. So... There's my day after Thanksgiving pep talk for you. 
I am interested in more of this together with you for 2021. I've decided that for 2021, I really want to make a community that's a refuge for moms or women who can take time and practice finding their own space, a shelter, a refuge, a spot where they can slow down and find practices that allow them to smile and connect with themselves. So find the link for that in the show notes. I'm going to email you on January 4th, so you have time to sign up. But know that this is in the works, and I'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like, but I want you to know about it. Your self-care today is I really want you to, if you can, hold child pose on the floor for one whole minute. That is your self-care. I want you to be still. Your kids can be driving cars on your back. Your cat can sit on you. Your dog might try to squish your face. Whatever it is, just hold child pose for one minute as your self-care. The family play idea is actually a suggestion from one of you, which is so amazing. If you have a family play idea you would like me to share with other people and give you a shout out, email me and I would love that. Today's is from Meg. She's one of my in real life friends from military life um, from years and years ago. And we live far apart. So we connect with each other on Instagram and you can find her at the stay at home mom life coach. It's in the show notes. But her family fun idea is that when you're grocery shopping, grab an extra pack or two of bubble gum. And then while you're unloading the groceries, call your kids in, give them bubble gum, try to blow bubbles as big as your face, have a bubble blowing contest and unload groceries at the same time. Total win win. Well, thank you so much for being here. You are exactly the right mom for your kids and your kids are the right kids for you. And I am so glad that you took this time to pause and listen and made space for yourself to be fully human. I'm glad you're here with me. Please go take the time to leave a rating and review, mention this specific episode and I would feel so honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving again.